All right, we here to break down the top 25 so far in high school football. After week 13, this is about to be week 14. Number one, we got Miramar. They jumped St. Francis after they spanked Miami Northwestern 58-14. to St. Francis just cooling here at number two at 11-1. and Cedar Hill, 8-3 and at number three. DeSoto's number four at 10-1. and Number five is St. Thomas Aquinas at nine and two. Number six is at is Allen at ten and one. Number seven, Long Beach Poly at nine and two. Number eight, Cold Rain at nine and two. Number nine, Neville at nine and two. Number ten, Marta Day at nine and two. Number eleven, Steele at eight and three. Number twelve, Dematha nine and one. Very impressive win over Gonzaga. Cato Hendricks balling out. Number thirteen, Miami Northwestern. At nine and two, they took that L last week. Number fourteen, Duncanville. At eight and three, number fifteen, Clay Chalkville. Eight and three, number sixteen, Pickerington Central. At eight and three, number seventeen, Mission Viejo. At seven and three, number eighteen, Saint Xavier. At eight and three, number nineteen, Archbishop Rummel. Seven and four, number twenty, Saint Ignatius. At eight and three, number twenty-one, Armwood. At eight and three, number twenty-two. Uh, North Allegheny eight and two, number twenty three South Panola seven and four, number twenty four David W Butler nine and one, and number twenty five Katie at seven and four. And now let's take a look at the games that happened this past week. You see, you saw Dematha Gonzaga on the channel, the Cato Hendricks Road to Glory series. Dematha won game winning touchdown towards the end of the game, twenty seventeen. Saint Ignatius won over Hoban. Uh, 24-17, Duncanville beat uh, Trinity out of Louisville, uh, 37-14, DeSoto beat Lake Travis, 45-32, Katie beat Capel, 33-10, Neville beat Hoover, uh, 33-21, Archbishop Rummel, close nip and tuck game with Newman, 28-21, Allen beat Alito, 42-31, Steel beat Westlake 42-21. Clay Chalkville beat Spanish Fort 38-24. Long Beach Poly beat De La Salle 34-17. Uh, Cedar Hill beat North Shore 40-10. St. Xavier beat Elder 37-20. Cold Rain beat La Salle 35-27. Pickerington Central beat Dutch Fork 52-31. Uh, Butler beat Wake Forest 34-3. Not a college Wake Forest, but this Wake Forest High School. Mission Viejo beat Centennial 41-7. Miramar beat Miami Northwestern. Spanked them around. Smacked them around. This was, this was a highly anticipated top 10 matchup. They smacked them 58-14. to And yeah, Miramar, in my opinion, they deserve to be number one because they did beat St. Francis and they got the same record. St. Thomas Aquinas beat Miami Central 56-28 to off the back of an Andy Rivera 300-yard rushing game. That's crazy, but yeah. Y'all saw that spanking. And now let's take a look at the stat leaders so far. You know, I'm not about to just ramble on and go through all of these players. But, you know, y'all can stop the video when y'all want. I'll talk about somebody that really popped in my eye. Like my man right here, Christian Ware. 40 touchdowns, 11 picks, 3,800 passing yards. My opinion, best quarterback in high school football so far this year. You know, you see these other guys like Ben Sims, a uh, decent quarterback. Uh, got a lot of help from Cato Hendricks, but yeah, he's having a good season. You know, you see other guys. Amir Humphrey's tough from Gonzaga. You see Dakota Hicks stepped in, doing a good job so far. Dakota Hicks is a subscriber, so yeah, y'all want to be part of this, just fill out that form that's in the description. But yeah, y'all see all these other guys. I ain't mean, going to ramble too much about it, but yeah, y'all can stop the video when y'all want. Russian leader so far, Chauncey Sanders, very impressive. 1,700 yards, uh, 17 touchdowns, 6.5 yards per carry. But if we really want to talk about impressive, this man, five-star, playing against the best competition in the country down in Florida, 1,700 yards, basically 8 yards per carry, 21 touchdowns, that's crazy. And y'all see some more of the other dudes is balling out. So a lot of guys over 1,200 rushing yards. A lot of dudes doing their thing. I mean, y'all can pause this jump whenever y'all want to. But yeah, Adam Johnson, he a dog too. But yeah, y'all see what's going on. 
A lot of dudes is over a thousand too. Receiving leaders, you know, guys is putting in that work so far. Lawrence Simmons, uh, he's been really the best receiver uh, throughout the course of the season. Twenty-two yards per catch, eighteen touchdowns. But I think it's a receiver better than him. And he the best player in college football. I mean, high school football. I'm tripping. The best player in the country, in my opinion, is Cato Hendricks, and he's only a freshman. Was playing JV earlier this year. 1,500 yards, 44 yards per catch, 15 touchdowns. Not to mention he a dog with the Wildcat stuff. He found a way to get into that end zone. Y'all see some of the other guys, like my man Aaron Collins, five-star recruit. You know, y'all see some um, Maurice Nelson, dog, another five-star recruit. You know, we just scrolling through. Yeah, Nate Christensen, a dog too. Uh, J- Jerome Bowman, a dog, 900 yards so far. This is another subscriber. So, yeah, like I said earlier in the video, if y'all want to be part of this, then just fill out that form that's in the description. You know, you see a lot of guys. Nolan Watkins is going to be a dog in the near future. But, yeah, y'all see a lot of guys putting up numbers so far this year. Josh Marshall, five-star receiver, 800 yards, 11 touchdowns. Yeah, y'all see it. Y'all see the sack leaders, you know, the same culprits almost every week. Still leading Eddie McDaniel, John Thomas. Y'all see the rest of them. You know, we just going to scroll through real quick. Get this joint over with. Y'all can stop the video when y'all want. If y'all want to see the detailed sack leaders and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, Brandon Harper's leading the country in picks right now. Eight picks? Yeah, definitely a yeah. five-star recruit. He a dog. See Joey Battle, Will Cannon, Ian Vaughn. Eric Williams, strong safety. He a big time hitter. Dog. Got four picks on the season. Very impressive. Five star recruit. And my man Andrew Rice, four picks so far. He's not a, a ball hawk t- type of DB. He's a lockdown type of DB. But yeah, I mean, hey, my man balling so far this year. If you want to be included as a character in the Reason Sports Network universe, then this is the video for you. In the Reason Sports Network, we make content for high school football, college football, and the NFL. You can be a character in our series and see yourself evolve from high school to college to the pros. If you want to be a part of this, then fill out the form that's in the description. When you fill out the form, make sure to choose only one level of football. Choose either high school, college, or the NFL. If you choose multiple levels of football, then I will select the smaller level. For instance, if you choose a high school and a college team, then you will start your career in high school. If you choose a college and an NFL team, then you will start your career in college. If you start your career in the NFL, then you'll start off as an undrafted free agent. Anyways, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for filling out the form and wanting to be part of the Reason Sports Network and enjoy the content.